Good morning, sunshine. The last video I made called Endgame 2020 through 2022 was so good. It was like a masterpiece. So I had to just sit there in the glow. Until now. Now it's a good time to say, hey, happy pre-new moon Saturn opposition dark moon Sunday. Yeah. And I want to remind you, we're in a spiritual warfare, a dimensional zone thing happening on every layer in 2020. So I'd recommend everyone play good defense. Some people out there are like, hell no, I'm definitely not going to play good defense. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, we got tornadoes ripping through the north part of the USA. And we may have a chance at some development that moves from the islands into the Gulf. So, you know, and mentally, I'm in outer space because I got like 100 hours to find some magic date that I have to come pick me up and whisk me away to a darker place, you know, light pollution wise, so I can see Neo Wise, which I would love to do, man. You know, I've not seen it yet. We're looking at the 23rd of July, which is like four days away 100 hours and it'll be lining up earth and the sun no i mean it's and that so that'll be closest to earth in the 23rd you know so i've not seen the comet yet i would like to we're in the middle of a really cool kick-ass planet parade and i'm kind of checked out mentally and emotionally asterisk because i don't know Aries has entered Mars for like six months and people are just kind of losing their minds. And so I'm staying cool and staying positive to the best of my ability during this time because the next five months are going to be super duper wild, man. So I got a hundred hours to manifest a romantic miracle in this romantic comedy known as 2020. Needs way more romance and way more comedy, though. The photographs of Comet Neo Wise do not disappoint on any level. I mean, it's beautiful. It is super colorful. It's changing colors, much like a mood ring. And so, that's pretty cool. I think it's a good omen, though. Other people agree. Some people disagree. But then some of those people think everything is a bad omen. Dude, you know? All right. So, wow. Yeah. It's colorful, it's amazing, it's interesting, and I'd like to see it before it goes away from visibility. So, Comet Neowise, F3, C2020, will be getting closer to Earth for about 100 more hours. So, that's interesting, right? So, we've had tornadoes ripping through the north part of the USA and into Canada. We've got a big heat wave going on. And lots of portions of the USA, including those same areas, get hit by tornadoes. And then we got activity to watch in the tropics. People are losing their mind. And it's all leading up to the big Saturn-Jupiter conjunction that's happening December 21st. 21st, 2020. When I said that, all oh, funky junky. Forgive me. And so, you know, right around here. Saturn and Jupiter will be like dancing on top of each other in the sky. And so, yeah, things are probably going to be super weird. Like, for example, there are two Cancer new moons in this year of 2020, astrology-wise. So, and that is just super un unreal weirdo, you know, because Cancer energy, I imagine, is a lot like what it must feel like to be a Catholic. I don't know, though. I'm a Norse Christian Jedi. And now I'm just talking. What's it talking about? Is there dealing with, like, the virus? Really, 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 really bad floods happening in China. This is like the 10th explosion in a month in Iran, which started on the 25th of June. I forget when Aries entered, Mar or when Mars entered Aries. And uh, I do wonder, because a lot of people out there have really bad theories about the virus. And so Israel is going back into lockdown. So how do people who think it's a hoax or think it's no worse than the flu how do people i don't know i would imagine to get that like israel's taking it pretty seriously and they're usually like 
Israel won't allow 5G into their country. So they, they take that health of their people pretty seriously. They're a pretty good barometer you use so that knowing that Israel's having conflict with it, it makes sense that the USA is having problems with it and Brazil and Iran. Iran just announced, hey, a lot more people have died than we first told you all about. Um, yeah, it's a real deal, man. But it's so weird to have some philosophical civil war in the USA about whether or not to take it seriously. Like it was a 1918 pandemic where the death numbers are pretty much on par with that thing. And we're dealing with it for two more years. Oh, is it talking about big asteroid fight club stuff? Probably. And people will say, why don't you stick to weather? And I'll say, why don't you stick to shutting the fuck up, bro? You know, it's Sunday morning. It's planetary defense commander. I'm going to talk about things that I feel are important information. That, you, you know, the people who understand and are listening uh, will appreciate. And I'm the guy who's been telling everybody to play excellent defense since about 2012, 2015 specifically. Yeah, I'm doing what we can to keep it together. So I'm not panicking, but things are weird. And so you can't just keep escalating conflict that eventually weapons equivalent of the nuke or stronger start going off. So you can't have everybody fighting, everybody mad at each other. At some point, you need to have some teamwork. Eh, because teamwork makes the dream work. And since we're not having a lot of teamwork right now, I'm going to daydream about the lower backs of women. You know, the area right there. There's something about it that's like magical. Or uh, so I remember. But I gotta say, y'all have spoiled me in 2020. You make me pretty much happy and gr feeling grateful and appreciative. All y'all are so cool to me. And I do what I can to give back coolness, you know? Not waste your time. And so I, someone sent me a poster of a female Mandalorian. And I loved it. Like, this is one of the. This, I love this poster. I have a long history with the director of Empire Strikes Back. I worked with him on a film for 40 days. He's the guy who invented Yoda. We talked a lot about Yoda and the Mandalorians. So, I don't know. And those are like magic Mandalorian boobs. All right. This poster is so cool. So, you guys have been so cool to me. So, yeah, I'm just here being cool. I'm trying to get everybody to play good defense, treat each other well. Um, Because Jesus did tell us. Love God above all else and treat your neighbors your family. So you're all my families, bro. And so, you know, so thank you. Thank y'all. Uh, okay. But this is really cool. Thank you. And thank everybody. You guys are like, there have been so many things. You guys have been so good to me. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. So you got like people throwing parties. They find out one of their friends gets the coronavirus, and then they're like, hey, let's throw a party to see who else can get it. Which is the weirdest, dumbest thing to me that like I've ever heard of. It's like if you'd heard somebody got herpes or AIDS, like, hey, let's I heard one of our friends got herpes. Let's all throw an orgy to see who else gets herpes. Herpes is like a thing you want to avoid. And it's like I've been saying, the coronavirus is the thing you want to avoid. You want your family to avoid getting it. You want your town to avoid getting it. You want your neighbors to avoid getting it. Um, and, and it'll be lasting for like two or more years, but people are just like, hell no, we're going to do some of the wildest, dumbest stuff out there. And I'm like, well, I can't stop you, you know? Okay. And I'm sticking with my official 2017 stance on Portland. That Portland is like a cross between Hollywood and Washington, D.C. And that like, there's always like these weird stage plays going on in Portland, partially real, partially political, partially hydra distract and divide and conquer, in my opinion. And that so one of the like if they're trying to distract people from extending unemployment benefits pandemic style, like then the Portland thing is one way of doing it because everybody's like, hey, let's all look here. It's like a Wendy's burning down or it's like a Chaz or it's like a. I don't know, Alex Jones and them were big on, like, this is where the Antifa staging ground was. And they spent, like, all of 20... And it's just... Portland's a weird place, man. It's more Hydra than anything else. Like I said, it's kind of Hollywood, kind of um, DC. For my opinion, I'm talking Astro Fight Club here on a Sunday morning. You know, it's like a Sunday school edition. 
But I would stand with the people and say, hey, dude, I don't trust or like politics at all. I think during the pandemic, for the next six months, we need to be doing what we can to make sure everyone is fed, keeps their lights on, has a place to live. Because 2020 is going to be totally difficult and we're going to be all dealing with the plague, the virus, for two more years. No matter how everybody feels about it, that's the way it's going to be. And with nobody really liking lockdown and rolling lockdowns, and the heat of the summer coming on and an election getting closer every day and Mars and Aries for six more months. Lord goes retrograde in the middle of September. So I'm personally looking forward to when Mars goes retrograde because uh, Mars is better at learning then. And we have a bigger chance of peace and good ideas. Remember, I've been pointing at... Uh, September for a while, as far as when things might start to really improve. So, that's a long-term call. We're still checking out, though. And I predicted the sun might start to show major signs of waking up this July. That's not happened yet. But the sun is still doing definitely interesting things. And it's got a lot of campfires on the front of the sun. The face. Campfires. The sun's got new campfires on campgrounds on the sun. That's new. They took new pictures of it. And they were like, yeah, we got new campfires and campgrounds on the sun. I was like, that combined with the comet, it sounds like good omens. And, you know, it's hurricane season. And it, I am Thor, Thor news. And I'm saying at this exact moment, I am way more worried about the virus than hurricanes. We're not getting hit by any hurricanes, but we are losing people to the virus. But yeah, there's a chance that the lid could go off the wind shear and ask the atmospheric defense team. And so we could start to get hit by hurricanes. I mean, but right now, it's not my number one concern. Extending the unemployment benefits is to solidify the 30 million people who would instantly like become unemployed uh, and all the family members they help support and their friends and everyone around them like it just I don't know man and so we'll see what happens but I would definitely put your boots on buckle up buttercup and that I not I don't think they're gonna extend the benefits I don't there's still a chance they might but if they don't then you're gonna see 30 million people take like a two lose like a two thousand dollars they were making a month and then 30 million people will no longer have that cushion. And those 30 million people support a lot of people. I don't get unemployment benefits, but I'm saying that letting the cushion go in the middle of a pandemic when you have major rollouts and or rollbacks on the lockdown, including in Iran, Israel, India, like even China's like, Japan, like, it's happening across the globe, man. And so to let that happen to our fellow Americans at a time where a lot of places have shut down and will stay shut down, uh, to not have a cushion for those people seems incredibly cruel, especially after they, both sides have dished out trillions to the banks and corporations. You know? And we just had a, I think it was on the 14th, Earth was right across from Jupiter. And then it was directly opposed to Pluto. And now it's going to be directly opposed to Saturn. Like in a straight line with it. And so that is fascinating. And Saturnian energy is epically foretold to be quite a taskmaster to say the least you know and earth and saturn on the 20th will be in a straight line together on the same like everybody's on the same side it's so cool and interesting but i'd be ready for that because saturn saturn energy combined with uh cancer energy can be uncomfortable to say the least forgive me for being so conversational. This is super top level Sunday school stuff. You know? All right. I'll wrap this one up. 
and maybe keep talking about stuff. Maybe I'll go walk and go get donuts and kolaches. Or maybe um, I'll do something else. We'll see. Hope you have a great day. I love you. Definitely get ready for 2020 to continue to get weird. Do what you can to destabilize conflicts and stabilize civilization. And we need some new ideas, dude. All the old ideas rooted in 200-year-old system ain't working so hot these days. All right, God bless everyone. Stay cool. May the force be with you always. And let us live long and prosper together.